Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Gun control advocates poised to ruin Disney World until patriots take action. A radical anti-Second Amendment group was planning yet another die in at the happiest place on earth. These con artists were going to offend hundreds of young children and families until real Americans took action. The left is growing more and more desperate and pathetic. Since President Donald Trump's victory, they've been losing ground everywhere. Sure, they still rely on the media to push their propaganda. But more and more Americans are getting sick of the liberals' manipulative politics. It has forced Democrats to resort to even greater stunts to force their agenda. They can't get enough people to vote for them, so they want to import illegal aliens to vote instead. Liberals know many Americans don't support their toxic views on marriage, sexuality, and gender. So, they push the issue through state and local government, regardless of what you believe. And when all else fails, they rely on radical, activist judges to violate the Constitution in order to undermine President Trump. One tactic the left keeps relying on is what I call shame tactics. You've seen this from a group called Media Matters. This liberal activist group only exists to bully companies that advertise on conservative news programs. They mount campaigns to bombard corporate entities who dare pay for ads to be shown on Fox News and other places. Liberals hope they can scare companies into pulling their support, thereby making it harder for conservatives to get their message out. It's a pathetic, mafia-like tactic aimed at silencing speech and censoring conservative thought. But it doesn't stop there. The left has combined their lust for public displays of stupidity and shame tactics in order to destroy the Second Amendment. Shameless attention whore David Hogg did this when he got a few students to hold a die in at a Publix grocery store. They shamed the company for supporting an NRA-backed candidate. Not only were they forced to pull their support, they pulled their support for many liberal causes. Good job, Hogg. Another group, literally called National Die-In, has been bullying companies and groups ever since the Orlando shooting. In fact, they were planning to hold a die-in at Disney World, because of the company's support of an NRA-supported candidate. It would have been a sleazy, ugly, and evil tactic. But after intense pressure from families and citizens, the group was bullied into pulling the event. An activist group canceled their die-in event protesting donations of NRA-supported Florida gubernatorial candidate Adam Putnam. The student-led group, called National Die-In, had scheduled the protest to take place on Walt Disney World property, reports said. The group, who formed in response to the Orlando Pulse nightclub massacre, is working to pass common-sense gun control laws, according to the organization's website. As a form of protest, the organization stages die-ins where members lay on the ground of a public space and pretend to be dead. Last week the group called out Disney on Twitter for donating nearly $1 million to Putnam, the state's agriculture commissioner, who once described himself as an NRA sellout. People were saying you were going to traumatize children said Nura Abdullah, a Georgia teen who helped start the group, called National Diane. She said she feared a public backlash if the group went forward with the protest, the Orlando Sentinel reported. Source, Fox News. It's always teenagers who come up with these stupid Dianes. Kids not old enough to vote, work a full-time job, or support families have the audacity to judge the rest of us. Personally, I was shocked to learn Disney was backing an NRA-supporting politician. It actually made me proud. But that doesn't matter. These bratty, entitled children felt they had the right to attack a private business over who they fund. As if they had any right to interfere in the internal matters of the Walt Disney Company. This is the left, in 2018. They don't believe we have the right to say or do what we believe in. Like the good socialists they are, they want to police our every thought, word, and deed. God forbid a company supports a hard-working candidate who will make Florida better. They have to lay down on the ground and upset and offend people completely unconnected to the issue. One wonders how these teens would have been able to afford tickets to enter Disney World in the first place. I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. George Soros, or someone like him, is bankrolling these empty-headed children. The act of shaming a company over its sponsorship is ugly, un-American, and pathetic. If you don't like what a company does, don't give them your money. It's as easy as that. But liberals don't think that's enough. They have to prevent everyone else from supporting that company, even going as far as ruining their day. That's socialism for you, a policy where their problems become your problems. At least in this one case, the shame tactics failed. But rest assured, these morons will strike again. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.